bridge, bridge, three turns. Okay? Yep. And he's going to say, but there's somebody in the way. You're going to pretend there's nothing. Just stay. Yep. Yes, Tessa, give him pat. Yes. Oh, Caroline. She's, yep, go on. And then leg down on the side, hun. There you go. Very nice. Over that bridge and through the woods. Yes? Here, we're in the woods. So let's go through all five up front. So the idea is um, to have horses in their natural element as best we can. We can't because they would roam forever, right? But this is the best we can do, not in boxes, out in the herd, being their natural selves, finding places to rest and things and to have the children in this element or adults, special needs people, non-special needs, whoever wants to walk into our door, and you've seen a couple different ones, um, find out what this realm of being mindful, being in the moment, being connected with another being that has no judgment. The horses don't judge you. They don't care if you're crooked or straight or whatever. They'll tell us if you're crooked or straight because it knocks them off balance, but they don't care in a, oh, you're crooked or you're heavy or you're too thin or whatever. They have no judgment. They're just here in the moment. We do mainly body work and, and figuring out how to talk connectively to the horses. So we do have clients that can walk, talk, had to jump bareback because we ride bareback, which is connective to the horse. There's other stables out there that if you want to learn to jump can do a decent job. You want to learn to show, do a decent job. So I would say that we go into beginner and intermediate riding skills, but the level of intensity of our lessons is very advanced. The tool. I hate calling them tools, but the horses here because they want to learn to ride and do things, but the horses the modality find the integration into self. Riding bareback is all about centering core and feeling where you're at and everything and having the responsibility for yourself in order to stay on the horse. There's no saddle, there's no stirrups, there's no holding on. So, so it's all about self. This is Hecla. Um, if you like, you can go up to yellow step there. Annabelle, here you go. Go up to yellow step. Mom's going to stay right next to you. There you go. And then right there. And then see when she comes up, she doesn't feel quite so big. So you can pat her. All right. Feel how nice and warm she is because she was in the sunshine. Right. She's an Icelandic horse. She's six years old. She's young. And she's a nice size, isn't she? So the children that are helping right now, that's part of the program. That's part of them learning how to interact with the horses, right? So we we have a few of those. We have three or four that are here weekly that help. Okay, so if you want to stop, you say, whoa, and then we'll stop, okay? It's really important that we're, you guys ready? Walk. How's that? Okay? So I'm gonna say, whoa. Can you get yourself into the middle on your back? Can you feel where the middle is? Yep, move over this way just a little. There you go. Does that feel safer? Okay, and then we're gonna say walk. And this is how she walks. Okay. Gonna go outside, we'll be right back. Okay. Done. Right. See if you can, if you need something, nice. you're kind of looking around at things, so my sense is you're not quite sure what you're doing. What's happening, where I can help you. I think Okay. It's supposed to be how many fingers on either side? Okay, so that's three. What about the other side? You have three? Yes. You do? Yes. I feel like there's not even quite two in there, do you see? Come over here and put your three fingers. One, two, three. Do you see? There's room for all three fingers there. Yes? Do you see it? Now get that room for all three fingers on the other side. What are you going to have to do? Yes, pull down on. That's why I didn't do it up yet. Do you see? Yeah. All right. So we help them tack and we answer the questions, but we try and get them to ask the questions and we don't do for them. Like we don't just put the tack on, say, here, this is how it goes. You, like they have to figure out how to do the buckles. They have to figure out if the halter fits. They have to figure out if the tack is responsible and safe so that the interactions between them and the horse, the signals are 
are understandable, right? It's not just put something on the horse and pull on the rein. We have a lot of people that have been here six, eight, ten years, and then we have other people that come once or twice and don't come again. Uh, we have people that come from Germany, from Florida, from, we had a little boy from Kenya last year, you know, we have people that come from a long way away and experience this and hopefully it opens them up to do something in their life that helps. He just wants to come back out and he wears a mask because he had, um, in, he had a carcinoma on his eyelids, so we had to do an eye um, surgery. So this is just keep dust and, and sunlight out of an eye that doesn't have an eyelid over it anymore. So that's why he wears the mask. And so now he's saying thank you for opening that. I'm going to see if there's any lunch left. Over the bridge and through the woods. Yes? Yep. Yes. Go, go Tesco. Come on, come on. Do we have a grandma that we're going to see? Yes. All right. Go for it. He says, but there's a wolf. Do you see the wolf? Do you see him? And you're going to say, nope, that's the extension of the red steps. Keep going. Yep. He says, I'm going to go over the second bridge. You're going to say, nope. Yep. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lightning, lightning. Yeah.